Hi, my name is Excel and today I'm going to show you how to set up your own free radio station online. So basically what you need is a shoutcast server or a stream server as it's called and there's two places to get those for free. Listen to my radio which is the page that I have open now on my admin panel and myradiostream.com and this is also the radio panel. Basically, you just have to register there with email, password, etc, etc. It's pretty easy. And when you finish that, you'll have to set up your radio server by giving it a name, um, some other stuff. Giving it the description, etc, etc. After you finish that, you should be able to be here on this web, on this page, which shows your stream ID, uh, stream uh, server address, port, password, as same as it shows here. So, we go uh, stream details. All right. So this is how listen to my radio's listening link looks like. It's hideous. I know it looks from past century, but it's free and these ads pay for your stream. So you should be grateful. And this is how it looks at myradiostream.com. Also similar, but uh, better looking in my in my opinion. But since you already registered and got everything you need, and you need is streaming software, and that is Winamp, Sam, Portal DJ, Nascast, and Mix. Now you can use whatever streaming software you like, but two that I use and exclusively I use these days is uh, Mix and Sam Broadcaster. Now, I use Mix because it's cool and it lets me use my DJ controller to use it and it's just the streaming software great for DJs, you know. We just plug it in, let's go. We just set it up and let's go. And this is good for people who don't have um, tendentions to run it as a DJ and just want to play regular music. Um, then you use Sam and the good thing about Sam is uh, it's kind of confusing but it has a lot of functions like turn this mic on music is playing no worry when you click on mic is live it'll uh, lower down the music volume and um, that's cool and it also has these sounds which I'll there we go so it has useful and less useful functions etc etc so after you have your streaming software installed and ready, and if you want to stream with Mix, you'll have to have M uh, this lib mp3 lame, and you'll have to get 32 or 64 bit depending on your mix, and then put it in your mix folder, installation folder, which is found here. Basically, it's C program files, mix, or D program files, or whatever you installed mix. Just put it in there, you're done. Okay, now that we're uh, pretty much set up, oops, uh, now that we pretty much have our stream working, I'll shut it down and turn it on. Okay, the stream is on. So, what do you do to do to stream with Mix? Well, first off, you have to go in Preferences, click on Live Broadcasting. Click on Enable Live Broadcasting, set type as Shoutcast 1, put in your host, which is your uh, address to broadcast, so it's this, and this here, and all it says there. Um, then, Port, which is 4894, as it says here. Streaming username, leave that field empty, so that's this login. Mount, we don't need, because we're not using Icecast. Streaming password is change me, so we write in to a encoding, that's the bit rate, 128, high as we can go. Um, MP3, 
stereo, stream name, blah blah blah. You can put all this stuff, enable live broadcasting, apply. Okay. Well, it says it's successfully connected, so let's see if it connected. It gave me an error that it didn't, but I don't know what's up with that. Okay, now we connected. Now let's play some music. There we go. So I pressed the play button. Basically, it's play button, fast forward cue. Well, DJs will know, and those who want to be DJs, they'll probably get along and know what's what. So this is playing here, and I, I think I'm gonna nope, wrong. I'm gonna mute it so we can hear the stream actually. Crank it up loud. So I'll click on play, and hoy, we got music. And it says you're listening to Excel's radio. You also have a chat here. This also has a chat. This also has its chat and stuff like that. Click on chat. There you go. So it's playing. It has this player, but you can change the player. Um, change the player. Custom flash player, flash and media player, flash, flash only version one, version two, version three. What we'll listen to show? You can you can pick and make it connected time, blah blah blah. So that's how it works with mix. I'll show you just how to use mix if you're using it for the first time. Basically, if you want to fade into the second song, play it, but make sure the first crossfader is on the first deck. Let it play a bit. Set it like this. I'm clicking it there because I want to synchronize it with the. Because I didn't have my controller plugged in currently, so I'm trying to make it as synchronized as I can. But you can always click sync. Easy way out. So. Now that it's playing, we just do this. And we essentially mix these two songs together. And you'll hear it on the stream in a minute. I can tell it sounds hideous because these two songs don't mix that well. But that's about it, the short version for mix. And I'll end disconnecting from here. And we'll stop this so it doesn't. So, how do you do it for myradiostream.com? Well, it's simple. It's, it's 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 the same on mix. You just input the data that you have, but on Sam you have to do it like this. So I'll just delete this so I can show you how to make it. And I, for for some weird reason, my Sam automatically uses my microphone uh, and puts it in the stream. I I'll have to see what's up with that. Um, what do you have to know about this program? Well, basically, click on B, go in menu, new. MP3 lame encoder, okay. Bit rate 128, stereo sampling rate 44100. Five seconds. Server details. Shoutcast version one. Uh, let's use this time my radio stream, and we'll start it beforehand. So host or server address is this. Port is this. Password is this. My station name Excel tutorial. Genre various. I'll I'll leave it like this. It's just 
we cannot list it on public station listing. Just click OK. Cutter is not started. Let's see if this radio state it started. It started. It says no source. Start. I'm trying to log in the server. No, no audio. Let's fix that. It's playing. Let's see if it goes. Playing by now. Let's see. Actually, oh, it is. Now, oh, just need to let it. Yep. So, as you can see, this radio station is also playing. And um, it will show you here how long you're streaming, etc., etc. You can still. I think you can set up multiple streams and stream to multiple stations. What else is there to know about Sam Broadcaster? Well, for once, oh, let's put in this here, put mic on, and I can talk and it automatically mutes the music as you can see here. When I release it, it goes back up to its normal values. Also, you can play these sounds as I showed you, and also you can use this which basically ends the song at the current position and it just fades in the other one and you can set up a queue of files of your files which also scans on the first start you just put in a couple of them set auto DJ mode and BAM you just don't have to look at it and do anything and it'll work everything for you automatically so yeah, that's about it with Sam and it works in, there we go, and it works on my radio stream and those are the two streaming services you should actually use, there's the only decent ones. There's also, um, I found this one, shoutcat.st and if you could click on, actually don't need to click, you can have a free plan here which is with 50 megabytes of auto DJ storage, 2 gigabyte monthly bandwidth, 30 listeners, Centova cast, which is a really mighty fine uh, Shadcast panel. I'll show you how it looks like. Uh, images. Shadcast version 1 or 2 or Icecast. So you can use different kinds of uh, servers. 96. Kilobytes quality is the max, so that's kind of sucks. But if you, if you're looking at Icecast, you can put it in OGG, and 96 actually isn't bad on OGG. So, going on further, uh, let me show you how Santolo works. Uh, where's the newer version? I think that's the newest version. Yeah, it looks like this. If I can open it. Takes forever for open and this shit internet today. I don't know what's going on with it. So it looks like this. You have listeners, server status, source status, source connected, blah blah blah. Nice thing about this server is that it has all the DJ in. So you have you can upload your music up to the server and just play it from the server. So when you're not physically at computer streaming with your PC, it can stream your music that you can put on. You can also manage playlists, for example, this playlist from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. And all other kinds of stuff. But the providers that use Centoa as their uh, chatcast uh, panel are usually paid. So you have to pay for it. Because if you can see this, free isn't actually quite good. Because you get more listeners and everything with these two providers. So, if you want to invest something into a radio station, I, I'd suggest you invest in the standard or premium. Because you get more quality, more out storage for Auto DJ and Centova Cast. Yeah, so that's about it for me for this tutorial. I hope you I hope I helped you and showed you how to do it by your own. And um until next tutorial next time. Goodbye.